60-plus minute effort uh, back, back in his first one, first set of the season? Yeah, you know what, it's, uh, uh, truthfully, I mean, that's a, that's a big team, uh, physical team, the, the matchup was on a back-to-back games, and I thought it was a real gutsy effort for our guys, like, coming off of that hard fought game in Washington last night, fly in here late, play against these guys here tonight and go extra minutes, so uh, they uh, they demand you to play a hard fought game and low scoring, and uh, you know what, I think that's a game that uh, shows our team's growing together, and uh, you know, obviously we didn't get the extra point, but three out of four uh, was uh, that's pretty good. Is there a one score to the lineup? Your impressions? Of that? Yeah, I thought they uh, they came in and did what they had to do. You know, two big bodies. I thought Westy for the the minutes that he played, you know, was effective and uh, played hard and created stuff. And, and Mike, uh, you know, played uh, well back in the blue line too. So, you know, we're trying to get everyone feeling like they're engaged and a part of it, and it's good to get them. Two guys because they're great team guys, and I thought they, they did a good job tonight. Playing this uh, grueling set of games that you guys have physically, obviously it's taken a toll on players with injuries, things like that. Any update on anyone or anybody else? Trying to <coughs> no, you know, I guess we'll uh, wait and see how he is. Uh, I'll get the reports uh, either later tonight or tomorrow morning. So it's uh, yeah, hopefully it's not uh, hopefully it's not that bad. Ford goes out tonight. Night after. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's a positive. I mean, you get back-to-back games and you got two goalies that can step in and give you a chance to win, and, and both of them did that. And, uh, you know, we had so our goaltending has been uh, really strong these last two nights. So, um, you know, because of it, uh, you know, we got, in, like I said, an opportunity to win both games. So that's uh, that's a great one-two punch. And, um, you know, there's a, that was a... That was just a really good hockey game tonight. Kind of, kind of unusual when you give up a shorthanded goal and score in your own power play, so a tight game. Uh, yeah, well, a little fatigue kicked in, you know, yeah. a little, uh, this guy's played a lot of minutes with Lindholm uh, not playing and, uh, you know, playing last night, so, you know, Paul gave up a lot of ice time and, you know, and Eric and, you know, it's, uh, it was unfortunate, you know, kind of a fatigue type of play and a kind of a bad bounce off the boards, but, you know, Skins comes back with a great, uh, huge goal. So, uh, you know, give us a point. And we say this time of year, just picking up points here and there is the key. But it's the way we did it. And uh, like I said earlier, I think the thing is we're really, these games is what your really, team starts to really grow on and build together. And uh, uh, just really pleased with the with the effort. You know, shootouts are a big, they're part of the game now. Yeah. This is I, one of those games that wouldn't have been a bad one, one time probably. So. Yeah, we uh, we got to find a way to yeah, that would have been nice the old-fashioned way to you know dial it out, but uh, it's the way it is today. So we got to find ways to to beat these goalies and uh, and score in these shootouts and, and win them. Um, you know, not uh, you know, and find ways to get those extra points. Do you feel like the open ice work that you guys have been using most of the time, four and four, or through training camp, that that's kind of bode well for those types of situations? That, that which may increase during the season? Yeah, I, I think it's more like, you know, just understand that, you you know, the, the mission on 4-4 four and four isn't to just go out and try to score, like, instantly. I mean, you still got to play it systematically. It's puck possession. It's different than 5-5. Five and five. And, you know, you got to bring the puck back. You got to, you know, wait your time and uh, be patient sometimes. And, and the key is that you just can't lose, lose your guy when you're on the puck because most goals scored on 4-4 four and four are, are uh, outnumbered uh, rushes. You know, D joining the rush, so uh, you know that's uh, just understanding that's a little bit uh, different hockey than five on five.